Welcome to Jake here with my review of the Nerf Shell Strike. This is a pistol shotgun in their Elite lineup. And being Elite basically meant now doesn't mean the 70 FPS average because, of course, this is a shotgun firing three darts at once at a, a spring power plant. That isn't going to hit 70 feet per second on a burst of three. But what it does mean is that you're going to get the Elite color scheme which is the heavy on the blue and orange with black and gray accents. And it has a slight tiger stripe pattern in the background if you look close. That's what it means more than the actual performance of the blaster. Now, doesn't mean it's going to be bad. It means that don't expect F FPS ratings of 70 feet per second on a three shot burst. It's a shotgun, it's close range. That's what it's meant to be. It does retail for $15 and Right off the bat, that is a huge positive. For those of you who just want to try a small shotgun, well, the Sledge Fire itself, even in the past, and now the Trilogy, you know, being $30, $35 blasters, that's, if you just want something to mess around with as a shotgun, that's still a little up there. I think they're worth the price, both of them themselves, but a $15 pistol shotgun? That had me intrigued, and as soon as I could get my hands on one, I did. I'm a little behind. Everybody else has already gotten theirs. But, hey, they hit the shelves in my area over the past week or so, and I grabbed one. And this thing is just absolutely fantastic. Brake action. It has a single-sided lever on the left-hand side of the blaster to actually release the uh, front brake action. And it does so not just by releasing a little notch, as you would expect, it actually pulls the entire plunger tube back, and the plunger tube just happens to have a little catch mounted on top that holds the barrel down. But it uses the exact same shells as came with the Trilogy, which is fantastic. As, as you can imagine, if they had came out with a separate shell type for the Trilogy and then another shell type that for the Shell Strike, I would have been livid about that because I already gave the Trilogy a little bit of a hard time at first on using a different shell type. I still think they could have kept going with the Sledgefire shells and kept complete universal uh, compatibility, but hey, at the very least, they've kept cross compatibility from the Trilogy to the Shell Strike. That's a good step in the right direction. And I will give Nerf kudos for that. And if they continue to bring out shotguns with the same shell, Okay, I'll get on board. But left side action, release the barrel, drop a shell in, which by the way, for your $15, it comes with two shells and six darts. Continuing Nerf's long-standing tradition of only giving you enough ammo to fill the blaster as it comes in the package. Yeah, it'd be nice if it had a third shell, but eh, what can you do for 15 bucks? Load your shell in, close the barrel, Pull the rear prime, which is a, a prime much like the little uh, Star Wars pistol. I'm uh, not a huge Star Wars guy. I forgot exactly what that pistol was, but it's a little white one. has a little finger notch type prime. And pull the trigger to fire your three darts. Something I haven't seen too many people talk about is that, well, if I reach behind myself here, grab a variety of darts out of my chronograph catch net, you can throw darts straight in through the front. Don't even remove that. Perfect for scavenging. So if you're into something to use around the house or in an arena type setting, hey, that is already a step in the right direction because you have full access to the shell while it's still sitting in the barrel without actually having to hit the brake action. And yes, of course, just like the uh, Trilogy, just like the Sledge Fire, you can simply throw one higher quality dart in there and fire. And here's where the one thing, if you accidentally bump this, I'm glad that happened actually on camera. It's happened to me a number of times. If you accidentally bump this little lever, it will cock the shell up a little bit, the barrel up just a little bit. Remember to push it down if that happens. But then fire and you get a little bit better performance out of one single dart rather than multiple. So happy little accident right there where we actually got to see the one flaw that I have had in my use of the shell strike is that sometimes when moving around, switching hands or just running around with it, 
you can accidentally half bump that. And you'll see that it, the barrel pops up a little bit, but not the full release. And you will get a, a dry fire because it's just enough there. The air restrictor will actually engage the back of the shell because the shell is tilted at a little bit of an angle, but it's not engaging it where the dart is. So it doesn't actually fire the dart. It just fires a puff of air in between that gap where now the, uh, where now the barrel is up. There's enough air gap there that it can just fire basically a blank. And you can either just push that all the way down, or if you were trying to open it, open it up, tap the front of your shell, and pop it out. Again, leave it in. Especially once you get some 3D printed or aftermarket shells, or if you're like me, I'm gonna end up picking up one of these, and I am going to put a single brass barrel in it with an insert. The front of this is very circular, I think this is going to be very receptive to modding. We'll leave that as a whole nother video. For those of you out there who are just looking to buy a blaster for fun, this thing I think should be right at the top of your list. Again, $15. It does what it says. It only has one functional flaw and that's really more of user error, you could say. I don't, I wouldn't really call it user error, but the fact that you can slightly bump that just in regular use if you're twi switching hands or if it's hanging from a, a carabiner you can bump that against your body and it will pop up a little bit that happens so i want to mention it i'm glad it actually happened just with me switching my hands to show you a shot into the net there and the other thing that lever well yeah it's kind of big and chunky and sometimes gets hit and bumped you know by accident it is only on the one side. Now, is that a cost cutting measure? Is Nerf so tight that they want to, or they couldn't have put it on both sides? I don't know. I think, I think they could have put it over here as well. But actually talking about the shell, overall, this thing is ergonomically very nice. The grip is very good, whether you're right or left-handed. And yes, I'm ambidextrous. The, uh, the grip's nice, the trigger action is smooth, the release lever is actually quite smooth. It's got a little stiffness to it, so those of you with very small hands or weak fingers, I'm thinking the smaller ones, might have a little issue, but you know, for any of us who are adults, which most of my viewers are, uh, this seems to be fine. And yes, you can actuate it with your trigger finger on your left hand which is how I've used it when I switched to my left hand. Like for me, I would switch to my left hand to peek around a corner. Now, for me personally, I don't have a lot to find fault with on a $15 blaster. This is not a price range that Nerf is very commonly associated with. And for $15, to be able to grab a shell, throw it in there, slam it home, and fire three darts effectively, with enough power and performance to easily reach across your standard room. And that's all I'm looking for with a shotgun pistol. Now keep in mind, it does use the same shells as the Trilogy, which means that the $10 shell upgrade kit that you can buy, well, it has a rail attachment. It has one rail attachment on the bottom, which means you can slide this little thing on the bottom, lock it in place, and all of a sudden, you've got yourself a total of six shells if you keep one locked in the barrel ready to go which again remember you can front load this thing if you want one in the barrel two in the holder that's built in three in the holder attachment so you can have six on board and of course then as soon as you dump that out you just dump grab throw it in a dump pouch and then well, you got five more to go to but I have Again, I have very little to fault with on this blaster. I think for the $15 for this, the $10 for the, the shell upgrade kit, as long as they keep making this available, this could be really fun to use. Two dump pouches. One with your full shells, like just keep a whole bunch of them and put, put the holder on here. Keep a whole bunch of full shells in one pouch. And as you pop this open, you gotta tap it, which I'm gonna shave those little catch 
tabs out. Take your empty shell, throw it in the other dump pouch, grab from your full pouch, lock it in, fire, just keep dumping that out, and just keep going. You can actually run a viable and fun loadout based around this pistol. Now, I would still keep something with some power for range, but as soon as enough people start making aftermarket shells of this type instead of the sledge fire shells, because, and don't get me wrong, I still like the sledge fire, the sledge fire over the trilogy and over the shell strike, but this gives me mini sledge fire vibes all over because of the break action, and I think that's going to cause me to love this pistol. And get some singled singled shells let me get some rival shells let me get a mega shell and I could really have some fun with this and I think a lot of people out there could as well which is why even though I am normally not the biggest nerf fan everybody knows me who's watched the channel I am far more into Busby X shot and dark zone than I am nerf with Busby being the clear leader in that but I do think nerf hit a home run with this blaster and especially at the price point they delivered it at fifteen dollars it works it does what it says it uses and shares the the new shell style with the trilogy which is important cross compatibility so if you got a trilogy those shells work with this you buy this these shells work with it and the upgrade kit that you can buy on the shelves of stores works with either that's important and they got that right and has very little to complain about. I can nitpick it. They should have had the release lever on both sides. They might have made it a little more uh, hidden to where you don't accidentally bump it. But that's nitpicking. That's what I'm here to do. But it is nitpicking. Because overall the package delivered is really good. So I would say everybody out there should grab one. And I don't say that about a whole lot of Nerf brand blasters. This is Mongoose Jake with my review of the Nerf Shell Strike. The newest and only, as far as I'm aware, the only pistol shotgun currently on the market in the in the blaster hobby community. Correct me if I'm wrong in this comment section below. Is there another pistol shotgun? I I know there's a lot of shotguns out there, but is there another pistol shotgun? Hmm. I don't think so, but if I am wrong, let me know. Because if there is another one out there, I'd love to check it out. But this is Mongoose Jake with my review of the Nerf Shell Strike. Hope you enjoy this, and I thank you for watching.